This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the law offices of Young Woldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. Good morning and welcome back to Strictly Business. I'm Nick Ortiz. I'm joined by Richard Chapman from the Kern Economic Development Corporation. Thanks Good for having morning. me. Great. How are you? Beautiful day out. Yeah, it is. It may rain. All the rain, the better. Exactly. I know. Rain's <laughs> beautiful around here. That's it. Rain, it. rain is money. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're just talking to Supervisor Gleason about water. Yes. How important water is to our That's, economy. So. so I brought two bottles of water. There you go. For the show. Okay. Keep me hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we are here. I want to talk to you about a couple things, but probably the the first thing, the most important, is the upcoming economic summit, which is a partnership between uh, KEDC, the chamber, and CSUB, and it's coming up in March. Um, that seems like a long time away, right. but here before it's you know going it. to be here before you know it. Exactly. Right, March twenty third, and uh, I believe it's the sixteenth, uh, fifteenth, or sixteenth year. We started in wow. one, and. Um, you know, it's really developed into, a, we call it a regional. I mean, mm-hmm. we have folks from Fresno, L.A., and it's a really great showcase. We bring in experts from around the country mm-hmm. and, and get their point of view, but also we have uh, locally, you know, Cal State has their economic forecast. Mm-hmm. Now they have a stable of, I think, three economists. Yes. So they, they, they will be giving their two cents on our local. But Chris Thornburg, if you've seen uh, Dr. Thornburg, is a uh, yeah. pretty wicked sense of humor. And he's I, good. And he's I good. think he's appreciating Kern County. Well, uh, yeah, we had to. <laughs> he, he was yes. he was exiled for a yes, few years we, after we, some, some unfortunate his, comments. Uh, his, <laughs> uh, he has a, has a, a you know uh, his sense of humor um, and uh, kind of uh, making you know chatting about the local economy and mm-hmm. um, but in the context of proximity, L.A. and yeah. and we're we're not L.A. and and and. I'm glad we're not because we yeah. are the fastest growing economy in the country since yeah. 01 still, despite decline in oil prices. And so I think uh, last time I saw him over in uh, Antelope Valley, he, mm-hmm. he was, uh, he was um, it seems like he's, he's, he understands yeah. the Kern County uh, economy a little bit Got more. Got it. He's done, he's done a little bit of a reverse yes. on that. And, and they've actually dug uh, beneath the surface and mm-hmm. done some analysis. So he appreciates what we have to offer, which Wonderful. is why we offered him at a speaking and assignment. And he's with, he's with BK. Beacon Economics. And, and then he, he used to be previously with UCLA. Yeah. And, and so he's going to do the national, mm-hmm. statewide. Um, but at the uh, end of the day, the Cal State people know our economy yeah. better than anybody. And then this year, it's all about millennials, right? There you go. We love those millennials. Yes. Uh, we have a, a guy uh, called Ryan Jenkins. His name's Ryan Jenkins. Yes. And so he's nationally known. TED Talks. Exactly. Is um, he a futurist? I believe it's something about <laughs> next generation catalyst. You know, there we you need go. that on our our, our uh, on our uh, card. Yeah, exactly. Uh, business card. Yeah. But he, yeah, I want to be a Spengali, yeah. not a Google. Well, that, 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 I'm sure you have the authority <laughs> to put it on your card, right? I don't think so. <laughs> so, so you know, and I and and we've had great discussions, Nick, yeah. about how you know how to put together a relevant and timely form. And it's not just about millennials; it's about yeah. all generations because exactly. we're interacting with millennials, but also it's, we have the baby boomers, mm-hmm. the Gen X, and so one of the ideas we have uh, working uh, with the Chamber of Cal State is to have a panel of all generations. Exactly. So from you know teenager to ninety, mm-hmm. so if you know anyone in their nineties still sure. in business, uh, <laughs> let's give them a call because it's that interaction. You know, yeah. much like we take Myers Briggs, exactly uh, disc analysis. It's not just your personality and your generation. They all come together. Yeah. So we don't. It's how is yeah. your team working? How is right. your team gelling? And then you know how do these generational? I hate to say politics, yeah. <laughs> but politics kind of play out in the office. Yeah, and and we, you know, we. I remember when the internet. Uh, and I was in Seattle, and my boss said, "Oh, that's a fad." And yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we're in Seattle. This is in the mid '90s. So you know, look how that's changed. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, uh, days seem to last a lot longer before the internet, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it, it really, and it gets back to the what we need to pay attention. The average uh, attention span now is less than a goldfish. It's wow. eight seconds. Wow. So how do you, you know, we t- always talk about, you know, the Kern County message, and, yeah. and uh, but how do we have a message that resonates? Uh, this summit 
we assume will resonate to the uh, 500 people in attendance. Yeah, I mean, it usually is a very well attended, sold out summit. And we hope it's sold out. We do. Yeah. I think. We'll, no, I think it'll be sold out for sure. But I, I mean, it's it's one of these things that you know I think it's evolved over the years and it just continues to get better um, because we continue to kind of peel back the onion of what is Kern County, what are the industries doing here, how are they driving the economy, and you know you could say the millennial issue is kind of a fad um, in certain right. industries. You know, some people are, are maybe tired of hearing about it. But I think that yeah. multi-generational workforce and the realization yeah. mm-hmm. that, you know, as the kind of last trail of the bo- baby boomers leave the yes. workforce, how many vacancies they're going to leave and basically how young the workforce is going That's... to be really over the next 10 years. I mean, the workforce is going to, I think the the average age is going to go down significantly. That because, is the challenge. You're you right. Know, and, 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 and. The jobs that our, we did or our, our fathers or mothers did, mm-hmm. uh, well, the next generation embrace those jobs. Exactly. And we have jobs that I consider very high tech in ag and oil. Yep. Um, yet you hear a lot of these millennials saying, oh, I want to go work at Google. Well, there's only yeah. a limited number of jobs at Google or Facebook. Exactly. And well, and I think if you look at any mm-hmm. modern company that yep. is, you know, doing something large scale like a Chevron, like a, you know, wonderful, like a Grimway. At its core, you know, maybe they're putting out a different, um, you know, product. Yes. They're not putting their product isn't software or some service right. or some piece of hardware. But they're almost all tech companies now because of how technology has infiltrated. I think nearly everything they do and has added value to all of their products and all of their processes. Well, you're right, and we were uh, myself and our vice, Cheryl Scott, our vice president, were at McPherson Oil this week at the mm-hmm. control mm-hmm. room and talk about the software and the. Uh, you know, this, it, you know, I, I think we need to bring every person that, despite whatever their opinion about uh, the industry, and, and they will be blown away yeah. by how the new, how technologically advanced mm-hmm. this is down to, you know, it's a science. Yeah. And, and this is not like Jed Clampett and no. the, you know, uh, type of type. This is, this is as technologically advanced as Google, Microsoft, you name it. Mm-hmm. And guess what? You know, this is, uh, we're the number one oil county in the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're really fortunate to have this in our backyard and it's yeah. created social mobility. The yes. American dream is, is, you know, it takes place in Kern County much more than most of the state. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, I know you had some slides, but we're about to go to break. So okay. stick around Great. Thank and you. we'll uh, go through slides. We'll talk about more about millennials. Um, and then we'll also talk maybe a little bit more about the Kern County economy. I mean, interesting news just this week when you're watching Wall Street and you're looking at barrel prices, um, yes. you know, maybe scary. Um, but let's let's talk about that in just a minute when we come back. Um, this is Strictly Business. Please stay tuned. We're going to go to break for just a few minutes.